welcome to DC Today. It is Wednesday afternoon here on the 24th of January. And the first month of the year is de definitely flying by here. Um, pretty quiet day of trading, benign. You know, we, we had um, earlier gains this morning sort of give way and lose a little momentum. Um, kind of late morning, 1030-ish, something like that. We had some PMI, PMI data that came out actually better than expected. Um, and we had interest rates move up a few basis points, call it four basis points on the 10 year. Uh, we closed the 10 year around 418 and the Dow, which had been up earlier, uh, ended up down about 99 points in percentage terms. It's, you know, super small, um, point, 0.26%. Uh, NASDAQ and S and P actually did notch a small eked out a small, uh, gain on the day. So that's the fifth day in the row for those indices. Um, which is positive, but fairly quiet day on, on in trading. And, and like I said, we had um, economic data come out in PMIs in both services and manufacturing were expanding. The numbers came out on uh, services at 52.9 versus 51, which was um, a little bit better than expected, but services has actually been above 50, meaning expanding for quite some time. Manufacturing, however, has been contracting now for 14 months, which is the longest period in history the, the longest non-recessionary period in history um, outside of uh, what, what was the same number or the same number of months in 1951. So we've had this sort of contractionary manufacturing data. We've written about it a little bit, but our expectation is that the um, evolution of nearshoring and onshoring would bring some of that back. And you saw it today in the number. It, hard to attribute it to just that one component, of course, but uh, we were above 50 at 50.3 versus a 47.8 expectation. So a decent number there. And of course, sometimes good news end up, ends up being bad news in stocks. But after, you know, on the Dow, at least four days of gains, you know, interest rates moved just a little bit on the news. It just gave some back through the close. So again, real, real quiet day in the markets overall. Um, and and uh, with regard to manufacturing, uh, particularly the PMI number, what I did is just looked around the world for the heck of it <clears throat> and saw where we were in expanding or contracting territory. Um, if you look at the U.S., obviously now we're ex in an expansion territory, which is a good thing. The U.K. is expanding. Japan uh, is expanding. India is hugely expanding. And then contracting areas are China. And that seg segues into um, their stimulus effort on the day. They reduced the reserve requirement in their banking system by half a point today. And that adds, meaning banks have to hold uh, a bit a bit less in reserve. Uh, they can lend out a little bit more. That's going to inject about $140 billion into their economy in dollar terms, which is about a trillion yuan. Um, and um, <clears throat> other places that are contracting, the Eurozone obviously uh, is pulling back here a little bit. And then uh, places like Australia, uh, technically. But um, th those are the big news points on the da day. And most of it is good news. Um, Tomorrow, we have a whole lot more data. So I'll be with you tomorrow in DC today. We've got a preliminary number on GDP coming out. I'm expecting around 2%. Uh, obviously, we had 4.9% the quarter before. So still expanding, although off of the, 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 larger, uh, the larger number we had the previous quarter. Um, we've got durable goods out tomorrow and new home sales. So good amount to go through with you um, tomorrow in the economic calendar. I look forward to doing that. For today and for this evening, with a quiet day of trading, I'm going to go ahead and, and keep this uh, particular recording uh, on the shorter end of, of ones that I have done. But um, I will see you all tomorrow. I look forward to it. Uh, reach out with any and all of your questions. I love to get them. And uh, I shall talk to you soon. Thank you. Mm -hmm.